Hello, I'm Dr. Shana Edmonds and I'm a paediatric surgeon. Did you know that a circumcision is not just for Muslim children alone? It can be done for any young boy. Now, what is a circumcision? It's actually the removal of the foreskin of the penis, right? Why does circumcision need to happen for any variety of reasons? Well, firstly, there's a medical benefit to it. The main medical benefit would be in young boys who've had repeated infections to the foreskin, we call that a balanitis, or they've had a history of a urinary tract infection. Most of the time, the foreskin is a bit too tight. So by removing the foreskin, we're actually reducing their chance of getting a urinary tract infection or a balanitis. A circumcision is also beneficial for health purposes uh, in caring for the cleanliness of the penile region. All right? Of course, it's optional and each family may have their own understanding of what's beneficial for their child. So have a chat with the paediatric surgeon about it. Now, there are a few ways in which we can do a circumcision. Now, in a very small baby, we use what we call a plastibel method. This is a small little device that we attach to the foreskin of the baby's penis. Gradually, the foreskin drops off with the plastic cup that is attached to it. This procedure can be done in the clinic or in the nursery. However, in an older child or older infant, we would do it under a local anaesthetic or even a general anaesthetic. Now, the removal of the foreskin may have some complications. These complications may include mild bleeding or infection. Local anaesthetic or general anaesthetic removal of the foreskin recovery takes around one to two weeks uh, for full recovery to take place. So again, have a chat with a pediatric surgeon if you're interested in your son being circumcised. Thank you for watching.